Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week we're going over how you run multiple servers and transfer between them in the game. You see this in use anytime you see a server that's got like a thousand plus people on it. It's usually they're running multiple servers, so I'll go over how you set that up. It's actually pretty easy, but there is no video tutorials out there, which is why I'm doing this for you guys. So... First things first, you need to run Spigot, which is a uh, offshoot of Bucket. I have a video that I just uploaded for it. You could check it out here. And to run Spigot, it's just it's like running Bucket, only you just run the Spigot jar instead of Bucket. It's fantastic. It has a bunch of performance increases. I would suggest it any in any case. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to get the Bungie Cord plugin. Bungie Cord is just a a jar file, and it runs as the proxy so i got a little graphic here on to just show you how it um shows up i'll give you the link to this graphic it's actually someplace online so basically what you do is you set up bungee cord which runs as the front end server and then it handles all the traffic between all your servers that you set up behind it um the easiest way to set up the security of it is to run all of them on the same server then you don't have to play with firewalls and all that stuff and you can set them up to only accept connections from bungee cord um so i'll show you how to do that here uh if you can figure out the firewalls thing i'll let you do that but um basically they connect here and then they select whatever server um well this will just the default server it'll point them to then when they want to go to this server they connect back and then there they don't see it like that they just go directly to it and they don't really even see that they're on multiple servers now these are all running in offline mode for security purposes which i'll show you in a moment this is the, and your bungee cord is the only one that authenticates with the minecraft mojang servers and that's about it uh i'll get into showing you how to set it up so uh first things first First, uh, Bungie Cord requires Java 7, just a note on that one, and then you want to set up your Bungie Cord, which uh, you just download the jar file, link is in the description, and then the start file, I have the um, the uh, commands that you need in there, but it basically runs just like a server, and then you start it up, and then you'll get a config file. So in this config file, you change your max player to so whatever you want. There is no top limit to it. And then you set your host. You want it to be, you want it to be listening on the default uh, port so people don't have to specify the port to join your server. And then uh, you can set the default server to be the lobby server, which uh, this is the server's list so I'll get to in a moment. You can also force a default server. So when they join for the first time, no matter what, if they've played on it before or not, it will force them to the default server. And then if you're running a server that's on the default domain, so if I was running a server just on mcfriends.us, you could set subdomains with that that would automatically point them to whatever server. So if I had this set up like this, this is how it would look. And then people, when they join townie.mcfriends.us, they would join this server. So here's your servers list. The lobby is the default. You got to set the port in here, which I'll show you how to set that on each individual server now each server has its own port i just did iterations of the default port it can be whatever you want it to be there's also permissions custom permissions list for bungee cord in here and then custom permissions groups for bungee cord um, the tab list is what happens when people hold tab uh, global ping means that when they hold tab it'll list everybody across all servers if you do local then it'll just be whatever local server you're on Bam. All right, let's get in. I'll show you. Um, we'll just start with the lobby one. You want to go into your server.properties to run this. And the, basically, the things that you want to change, you want to save, change the server port to be whatever you want, whatever you set uh, Bungie Cord to point to. You want to change your server IP to be a local IP, 127.0.0.1. This will allow people not to directly connect to your server except by going through Bungie Cord. Um, this is just a security thing because you have to run these servers in offline mode. Spic or excuse me, Bungie Cord is the only one that's going to run in online mode. So uh, I believe that is about it. Uh, let me just look over my notes. Okay. Um, all right. So then, what you want to do is you just fire up all your servers. Um, that's what Bungie Cord looks like. 
And then um, I'm just going to fire them all up here. And then we'll hop in the game. And um, and I'll show you how this goes. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it I just have a null world for the lobby. Um, and so basically it forced me to join the lobby server. And then all you want to do to join other servers is you go server and then creative. And this will load up the creative server. And then you go server townie to go to my other to my dev server and then server back to lobby so those are the three different individual servers that we have here i'll uh i'll put like always i put a server build up and um with all of these settings i'll change the towny one to be survival um with uh my economy plugin set uh that you could just uh load all these up and get it running um and that is about it. I'll do a tutorial later uh, for setting up gates between the servers. It's a little bit complicated and it'll take longer than uh, I'd like to have my tutorial videos be on one thing. So so please subscribe and you, when you see that coming out. And uh, if you like this plugin, if it was helpful, please leave a comic and comment and like. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer it. But I'm pretty new to using Spigot and uh, Bungie Cord. Uh, I would suggest going to the website. There's also a bunch of plugins that you can run, customize with Bungie Core, different kinds of uh, server admin stuff. And that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little daunting at first, but I believe you guys can do it. And so this is Koss from Mick Friends. And as always, enjoy the game. Ubisoft's pretty affecting his triple spin dive off of a 45 to 50 pound meter jump. He preps. <laughs> he press the jump. <laughs>